Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest on the left, and Emma Wilcox on the right in the background. And today we're back with some more Starfield. Last time we came here to Montara Luna to investigate a farmer that had been visited by some gentlemen who looked like military. So let's get into it. Choop. Aha, yes, we found the gentlemen who looked like military and they were actually... Some kind of hired mercenaries, yes. But, I guess we now need to return to the farmer and tell her, hey, everything's fine, it's all good, nobody's gonna hurt you. Bosh. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Ah, there she is. Madam. Hello. Uh, hello? What's the news? Well, it's good news. What happened? Did you find those men? Yep. Um, hmm. <sighs> they were in the canyon, like you said. Unfortunately, it came to violence. Well, it's good to see you're all right, then. Good. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. Yeah, so maybe. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? Well, hmm. Do you know anything about a stolen Hope Tech ship? Hope Tech? The cargo ship company? Yeah. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Hmm, interesting. Well, we have a lead, but it's too early to say. They say the Rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'm sure I we will. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Um... Yeah, we're just doing our of job. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. Okay. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, Deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the Marshal. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I'm just going to um, have a little sniff around. I hope you don't mind. Got to be nosy. Investigate the crime scene and all that um, jazz. Yep. Quite a quite a cozy little setup here, you know. I kind of like it. Ah, so he's the old the old fella who owns the place. Is this like a kitchen? Hey, I like the kitchen. Nice. Um, I don't think I need any more food. I'm just being incredibly nosy. Hmm. Nice. Little back porch area. This might be a good place for an outpost, you know. I'm convinced of it. What the hell? Is this like an outhouse? It is! Look at that! Hey, what a guess. Safety protocol. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, not a bad spot. I think we could set up a nice little outpost here, actually. Do some farming. Ah, <sighs> maybe have a quiet life for once, eh, Lemon Pest? Nah. Nah. We're not about that life. Um. Okay. They're a little bit messy, but... Oh, well, not... Excuse Emma, can I... Yep, thank you. Can we just... Yep. Oh, sorry. Um. Yeah. Okay, well... Never mind. Aha. Lost station. Oh, we can sleep in the bunk bed. Bunk bed. Solomon Coe's Solomon's Adventures 02, even. Food and drink items are permanently 5% more effective. Well, why the hell not? That's all I've got to say. Why not, eh? Why not? Okay. Um. Well, that's, yeah, interesting. Okay. Let's go. What else is here? Anything in these buildings? Oh, okay. Some kind of fan turbine thing. Yeah. Is this like a, like a storage thing? Or a bunkhouse for you? 
Oh, it's a bunkhouse for your workers. Well, all right. Huh. Wow, everybody's asleep. Okay. Well, all right. So, what's in here? That's a heat leech. Um, okay, that might be a little overkill for this. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, killed it. Very loudly, but killed it. Ugh. Kill them where you see them. That's what I say, lemon pest. Because they're bloody scum. No one will know. Just... Okay. Wire spools. As the hero of Vectera, you need your own comic book. Look at this thing. Cartoon, your own theme song. A blummox. We have got to make this happen. Really? I can't scan that? A blummox. I don't even know what that is. Oh, okay. Hi, Emma. Um, what's in here? Another blummox. Okay, are you aggressive? Alright. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm out. Okay. Come on, Lemon Pest. Let's um, not let's not play with the Blummoxes. A Blummox. What a name. A Blummox. Um. No, we can't do anything yet, can we? No. Not got the um, capability. All right. Well, let's head back to. Um, let's head back to. Kila City then. Hmm. Montara Luna. Yes, I may end up setting up a outpost there because it seems quite habitable, quite nice. It does have some resources. We will have to visit our room. Um... Okay. Yes, we'll have to visit our our other outpost before the day is through. I imagine. Could do with some settlers, maybe. Hmm. Okay, let's go and speak to the marshal. Tell him the good news. The well, the news. All right. Always painting too rosy a picture, though. Always something to say, these people. Ha! Here we go. Okay. Here we are. Marshal, hello. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. Mm -hmm. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. I mean, I suppose. Should we celebrate with a drink? You did good, but a celebration might be a little premature. Yeah. Well, there's still some unanswered questions. I agree. Until we see the whole picture, we won't know if Miss Wagner is truly safe. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? Um, hmm. What I made of them is corpses. You enjoy the violent stuff, huh? If you have to shoot someone, make sure it's for the right reason. If they open fire on you first, then you're within your rights. But outside of that, violence of any kind should be avoided. All right. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Well, hmm. They hired someone to steal a ship from Hope Tech. Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. No. 
That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the colony war, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. Hmm. What happened at the Battle of Nera? The first cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colony's base. Oh. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. Oh dear. The commanding officer of the first disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. And he court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. Could those men be veterans from the 1st Cavalry? I don't think they do, because they didn't look as old as the Marshal, so... I suppose it ain't impossible, but... It's real damn unlikely. Okay. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. And I don't recall how long the sentence was. Okay, um... Finding the starship thief that those men hired is our best lead, I think. Hell, it's our only lead. All right. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. All right. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Hmm. I'll do what I have to do. Normally... I'd praise that kind of dedication, but you need to maintain a sense of perspective here. Our authority and our power comes from the Council of Governors. Remember that. All right. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Okay. Well, come on then, Lemon Pest. I suppose we better go and meet Ron Hope, eh? Nicely done. All right. Mayday! Mayday! Oh this God! This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, systems failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. All right. This is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. Okay. Whoa. Scan away, that's fine. Um, Alright, we're done. Welcome to Hope Town. Okay, what the... Okay. Oh dear! Um, yeah, your ship's kind of, kind of busted up. Can I take this? I can take this. Sorry, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's hungry work. Okay, oh god. Oh, I'm stuck on the hole. It's here. I'll be there in a moment. Just, um, well, we all know what we're doing. Pest out the road. Can't go up that way. Okay. There we are. What's in here? This is quite a quite a big ship, actually. Good God. All right. Um. Ooh, what's in here? Ah, mag shot, really. Eh. I don't think so. Is 
some kind of cell. Okay. Ships of the Lion Cereal. All right. Okay, well, I suppose we better go and speak to the lady and see what's going on. I'm taking those. Oh dear, are you all right, love? Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. Um, hmm. Well, it's a nice ship, but no, I'm not here to steal it. Mine's nicer. Yeah, well, if you want to keep that badge, then don't get any ideas. All right, chill out. This old girl and I have been through a lot together. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Uh... Are the outlaw ships still in the area? No, no chance. They took as much of a beating as I did. Well, outnumbering me, three to one, I'd like to point out. All right, well, what do you need me to do, then? Repair my ship. Please. We need to get you to a doctor. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Well, Just all right. patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Um... Fine. Thanks. I owe you one. Yeah, remember that. All right. What she got in here? Well, we'll call that my payment. How about that? I'm that. Okay. So we got to fix stuff. I'm gonna fix things now. I'm fixing things all the time. Okay. Hmm. Oof. Okay. And here. Bam. All right. We fixed the ship. Lemon pest, I wouldn't even bother climbing up, my friend. All right, madam, your ship is fixed. Thanks. That should get me home. All right. Um. Yeah, those outlaws still need to be dealt with, you know. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. Okay. We can't let that happen. Um. Just tell me where they're headed and I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Miatha. Good hunting. All right, let's go to Miatha. Okay, um... Is it... Oh, okay. Well, damn it, Bobby. Never mind. Just climb. Hey, Lemon Pest. Okay. Nothing here? No. Not in here? No. My god. A little bit of a waste of time, but never mind. Okay. Alright, let's go to Miatha and um, sort out this problem. Weapons locked. Destroy them. Hmm. Bloody miles away. Right. Reckon. Oh. And now 
you did. Thank you. Bam. Hello. One more. Hello? No match for us. I'm no match for you. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Are you sure? And there you go. Consider yourselves out of the picture. Okay. Uranium? Is there anything else here? I feel like there should be something else here. Never mind. Alright. Give me all the parts, thank you. So. This is Miatha. What is happening on Miatha? Baron. It's got nothing. What? Deserted relay station? Hmm. Healy oh no wait what wait what ah helium aluminium and neodymium aluminium hmm polvo that's where we need to go okay let's head to um head to hope town then Ron so hopes the best thing that's happened to us is he says who Hello. You made it. I did. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Nah. Easy. Um, well, they put up a good fight, but I got them in the end. In fact, no, they were no trouble. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. Oh. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. No, no, let's, um... Nobody reported the ship theft. Doesn't make sense, does it? No, and I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. Probably. Alright, let's go. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Alright. Hmm. Wh hmm. I'm guessing yeah. the Marshal already told you this, but I'll say it anyway. Go ahead. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. Yeah. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile him up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything right. you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. Okay. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. Yeah, All well... All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. No. Never. He needs to show me some respect. I mean, look at this. Look at this magnificent specimen. Up. Good lord. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Yeah, it's so that they can uh, look down on everybody else. being above everyone makes them feel like they're... Well, <laughs> above everyone. Yeah. What do you reckon, Lemon Pest? Huh? Some shady beans going on. I don't want to hear any complaints. <laughs> That's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember? 
It's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. Mm. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now. I fear that was for our benefit. Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn. Good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Hello. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. <laughs> Everybody could use more of me. Alright, well... Okay. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. Alright. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Mm. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. Hmm. The person behind this will face justice, and sooner than he expects. That's the spirit. I want the thief found, and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors? Remind away. And uh, I'm aware, fully aware, of your position. Then I trust that you know what I expect of you. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Well, hmm. Of course I do. A group of mercenaries hired a thief to steal your ship. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Sadly, there's no lack of mercenaries in the settled systems. I suppose the chance to cut costs by stealing a ship was too good to pass up. Mm. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Hmm. Why didn't anyone report it? Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Hmm. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. True, I suppose. Um, the thief had inside help. Know anything about that? What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Will you? Well, hmm. Was there anything unique about the ship? No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. You can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Doubtful. Did anyone see the thief? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened. And not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. Sure no, is. I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable... The thief could have slipped in unseen. I think we're done here. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. Oh, please, go ahead. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables. 
and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. Well, I understand your position. I hope so. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Hmm. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Yeah, all right. Come on, Lemon Pest. She's gonna, she's gonna say something. Hit the roof or something, are you? Go on. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Yeah. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Yep. Hmm. It's enough to go on. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. Yep. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. True. Very true. Um, I've spent time on Neon. I know how different it can be. Good. That should help you avoid any unnecessary complications. Well, we've both got work to do. Yep. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Um. Yeah, keep your eyes and ears open. I'm not sure we got the whole story here. Yeah, the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. Good. You be careful in Neon. I don't need to be careful. I'm the law in Neon. Yeah. Let's rock and roll, Buckaroo. Get out of this place. They say that a roll is made from a fish. But how does it swim when it's always high? Okay, let's Not check sure. this dude out. Hello. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just chill out. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? That's right. Um, you were expecting someone else? Not exactly, but I get a lot of unwanted visitors. Oh dear. Kind of comes with the territory here. Well, you must be Ranger Price. The one and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. I am. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here, but this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Um, well... I'm sure the people of Neil want to uphold the law. Yeah, about that. <laughs> this isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Hmm. So you just turn a blind eye? I pick my battles, and I pick them carefully. Our first duty is to protect the people of the Free Star Collective. But sometimes you have to choose which people to protect. Because not everyone is innocent. Yeah. Who runs this place? That would be Benjamin Bayou. Oh yeah, Bayou. He's out to squeeze every credit he can from the people of this city. He doesn't much care who gets hurt in the process. He's also got a seat on the Council of Governors. Which proves that if you've got enough credits, you can buy anything you want. True. Very true. Well, I won't cause trouble. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. Hmm. There's a guy I know, 
Billy Clayton. Does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Well, of course. Um... Hmm. Do you know what? Yeah, take me to him. Come on. Let's go. Well, let's... Don't mind me. I'm just, um... Quite a nice little setup, actually. Good God. I mean, it can't be fun kind of sleeping in the same place where you keep, um... You know, criminals. But, yeah. Alright. Hmm. Right in there? No. Alright, here we go. Okay. That was pretty got impressive further. how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Well... Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. Yeah. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he had, well, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he could. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. <laughs> Hostages or not. There are two things you don't do in here. One, you don't mess with Bayou's money, and two, you don't take Aurora off world. But you understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll find it. Okay. This, this seems hella dodge. But we... Jeez. Fire extinguisher, alright. Is he in Frankie's grab and go? Come on now. Hey, Billy. You got a second? Oh, is this the dude? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Goodman? Sure. Far from it. Who's Goodman? Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. Well, all right, uh, Billy. What do you need? A stolen Hope Tech ship landed here recently. I need information on the pilot. Hmm. Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Yep. Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. All right. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? <sighs> um... Do you know it's a thousand creds? I'm worth a fortune. Maybe this will jog your memory. Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you could do for me. Of course there is, good lord. I could help you. But right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Well, this is Neon. Nobody's innocent here. All right, I admit I've got a bad habit or two. Look, I know your time is valuable. Here's a few credits for your trouble. Now, if you'll just hear me out for a second. I really need your help. It's about my brother. Okay. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Okay. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. Um, hmm. I'll talk to the loan shark, but you'd better make it worth my time. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Good. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Cool story, bro. In other words, it's up to me to deal with it. Okay, well let's just 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 take a look here. Hmm. Um. What have we got? This is my suppressed weapon. Hmm. All right. Well, I suppose we can go and deal with this Goodman fella. Is he down here? Over. Sorry, this way. Uh, huh? All 
right. Lemon pest, be careful. Um. Aha. Okay. Well. Okay. You look this interesting. Is private property. Is it? You better keep walking. This is private property. Is it? Well, hmm. I need to get in there. It's important. Do you now? Yep. Hmm. Nobody needs to know about this. I'd like to help you. I really would. What I'm asking for is completely reasonable. I think you may be right. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Yeah, this will get you in. Okay. All right. Is it a note? You don't like the way you're looking at me. I don't like the way you spoke to me. What? But... Got a problem? Your hair's cool. I like it. I um, I don't have any, but I do have a cool hat and a cool look. Hey, love it. Who could resist such a man? Who could resist? Okay. Hello. So, well, you're now, the dude, are look you? Here. Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are you? Um, hmm. I'm here about the debt you're trying to collect from Billy Clayton. Ah, oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. Um, hmm. Don't test me, I'm not in the mood. Oh, I intend you no offense. It just seems to me that you're trying to get involved in business that ain't yours. What's your stake in this anyway? Um, hmm. I need information from him. Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Look, I'm asking for your cooperation here. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. I mean... Hmm. You're trying to get blood from a stone here. Well, that ain't wrong. Hmm. The Rangers can make your life real difficult if we want to. Oh, Seems no. to me like you're a long way from Aquila City. Mm. Well, time is a luxury I don't really have. How much time you've got isn't my problem. You come walking in here drunk on your newfound authority, drunk. thinking I'm some small-time crook you can push around. You are a small-time crook. Maybe it's time I show you how we resolve disagreements here in Neon. You want to do this? Let's do this. All right. Are so bold. Yeah. You can't run from me. You know. Are you coming? <laughs> Did I miss? Oh no, I didn't miss. These are your streets, but this is my world, and you're just living in it.
punctured your lung. Good dead. God. What? All right. Well, there you go. Uh, I'll take the shotgun shells, thank you. Ah. Look at this Egypt. Ramen noodles, eh? I mean, do you know what? I'm not normally one for, for childish things, but there you are. Have a bit of that. There you go. Enjoy. Many would pay for that, you know. All right, so what were you doing here? Any Anything else? You didn't even offer me a coffee. How ridiculous. Good Lord. Did you pick? Thank you. Oh, hey. Thank you so much for the creds. What a moron. What an absolute moron. Microsecond regulator. Okay. The Shinjiro 5. Okay. Be all you can be in zero G. Blade gliding. Is that like ice skating? Hey, imagine ice hockey with, with like, z well, maybe it wouldn't work in zero G. Hmm. Oh, and we're in! Marvellous. Okay, yep. Uh, what's in here? Varun Inflictor. I think that's what Lemon Pest is using, you know. It, it, it seems that way. Okay, no creds. Anything else in here? No. Ugh. Well, God bless it. Well, there you are, Lemon Pest. We came, we saw, we murdered them, and that was that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Varun Inflictor. Why is that so very small? I don't know. Alright. Yep. Uh, no, you can keep the juice. It's a shame she had fantastic hair. But, well, that's what happens when you mess with the best. And lemon pest. <laughs> Love it. Okay, is there anything else here? Any other cred sticks? Anything useful? Any other bad you days? Are the greatest. No, no, no. Better than the greatest. I know that's grammatically impossible, but somehow you managed to do it. Lemon pest, you know, sometimes your flattery is, is quite welcome. I need it. Gives me gives me motivation to continue. Alright, dude, I've dealt with your issue. Did you talk to Goodman? Um hmm. Well I solved your little problem. Now tell me what I want to know. Well, have you got any proof? When a ranger says they're gonna do something, they do it. Now start talking. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. Exactly. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. Uh-huh. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. Oh. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. I mean, okay. I don't really need backup. I've got a lemon pest with me. And for some reason, he seems remarkably good at it. So, don't worry too much. Yeah. All right. Definitely Let's head to Madame Sauvage's place. Yeah. Madame right. Sauvage's. Damn, y'all still haven't cleaned up this mess? I mean... Alright, so that's our woman, is it? Can I get you something? Um, no. But you know what, let's take a seat. Sidle up to the bar. Like a good little ranger. But we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will uh, speak to our Maybe you'd like to try our and thief and um, see what we can get from her. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.